guys, what's happening? Today we're gonna do some ancient medieval alchemy, but we're gonna do it pirate style. So today we're gonna turn some regular copper pennies into silver and gold. I'm gonna start by cleaning these old dirty coins. After all, if we're gonna do some alchemy, we must purify the coins. So we'll use some acid to dissolve away the dirt and crime that has accumulated over the years. Don't worry, it's just a little vinegar which contains acetic acid. So we let them soak for a little bit, then we can move on to the good stuff. The origins of alchemy date back centuries to ancient Egypt. One major aspect of this idea was to convert base metals like copper or lead into precious metals like silver and gold. Here I've created a solution and heated it up to facilitate the conversion of copper to silver. We just need to let the pennies soak for a few minutes. These practices also led to early investigations into chemistry and medicine as alchemy spread throughout India, Asia, and eventually Europe. While we now fully understand the chemistry behind these magical reactions, they had no clear understanding of what was happening. Ignorance, or a lack of knowledge, fueled the fires of alchemists who used these illusions for personal gain, most notably during the medieval and renaissance periods. Sounds like the perfect recipe for a pirate. Here you can see our shiny new silver pennies. While this is a great step in increasing the value of the coin, we can take it to the next level, but we need a little bit of fire. So honestly, would you have been fooled? I mean, living back in those days when uh, we didn't really understand chemistry or how this works, would you have been fooled? Would you have uh, bought into this whole idea of alchemy? Because it certainly looks convincing, doesn't it? Now here's what I didn't tell you guys. This solution contains zinc. And the zinc adheres to the surface of the penny, giving it a nice silvery look. Sadly, it's just zinc. 
it's not actually silver. A and the gold? Well, when we heat up the penny, the zinc coating reacts with the copper in the penny and forms an alloy, which is a metal that's made from two different metals, and in this case, that alloy is brass. But it sure does have a nice golden luster. Looks like gold. You can see just how profitable this business could have been. I mean, those really look like silver and gold coins. So it's a pretty simple reaction. We're reacting the copper and the zinc and combining them into an alloy that we call brass. And then brass has a very gold-like quality. So uh, it looks like gold, but sadly, it's still just worth a penny. All right guys, thanks for coming by and checking that one out. We were actually able to make some real treasure out of uh, some pennies, converting them into silver and gold pennies. Well, okay, so it's actually just zinc and brass, but it sure looks like silver and gold, doesn't it? Anyway, it's a ton of fun and uh, super cool reaction. Uh, pretty cool to see just how alloys are made. And this is a very simple way just to demonstrate that. So it's very cool. Anyway, it's a ton of fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button down below. Uh, drop me a comment, let me know what you think. And uh, if it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe. Aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time. Hey, one other thing. If you guys missed last week's video, you might want to go check it out. I'll put a link uh, right over here. You can click on that, and it'll take you there. I actually built a volcano in my backyard. It was a pretty epic thing. You don't want to miss out on that, so make sure you go check that one out. I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys next week.